that speech is allowed, but Blue Lives Matter is not allowed. And I will stand at this podium and say Blue Lives Matter is an equity issue, and, and Goodyear needs to come out and acknowledge that. Today, the president encouraged Americans not to buy Goodyear tires, suggesting that they had a ban on MAGA hats. But it appears that their policy is just a ban on political speech. It's pretty common for most companies. So why is the president retaliating against a private company for their dress code and potentially jeopardizing American jobs? So Goodyear needs to come out and clarify their policy. There was an image they failed to clear. Yes, I did see their statements, which still still failed to, failed to clarify their policy. What happened is there was an image that was put out that showed that certain speech was acceptable, Black Lives Matter insignia, for instance, but what was not allowed was Blue Lives Matter. What was not allowed was MAGA hats. Um, what was clearly targeted was a certain ideology. They have not denied that that image was presented at one of their facilities, and they need to come out. Racial equality, racial justice, that is okay, but not political speech. That's pretty standard across the board right now. That's not that unusual. Did the president even reach out to Goodyear before they, he tweeted? They came out and said equity issues. As far as I'm concerned, Blue Lives Matter is an equity issue. There have been police officers across this country that have been targeted because they wear the badge. Look no further than Dallas, where five police officers died. So Black Lives Matter, an organization who's in their D.C. branch said Black Lives Matter means defund the police. One of their presidents in New York said we will burn down the system. We all remember in 2015 the yelling of pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon at a Black Lives Matter rally. That speech is allowed, but Blue Lives Matter is not allowed. And I will stand at this podium and say Blue Lives Matter is an equity issue, and, and Goodyear needs to come out and acknowledge that. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, so let me just address that. The reason he called for the boycott was over MAGA. Yeah. MAGA is pretty much unanimous with Blue Lives Matter these days, if you see me endorsing. Yeah. Like, back, back to Goodyear for a second. Set the issue of the beast aside. When the president says, don't buy Goodyear tires, get better tires for far less, is he imploring that to his supporters, or is that the official policy of the U.S. federal government that the president is directing, saying, do not buy Goodyear tires going forward? Uh, the president was talking um, to his supporters when he tweeted that um, in particular. And look, this president will never apologize for standing with law enforcement. Um, he won't. He thinks it's unacceptable. If you can wear a Black Lives Matter hat, guess what? You should be able to wear a Blue Lives Matter one, too, particularly when our police officers are targeted like they were in Dallas, particularly when David Dorn lost his life amid these riots. He will always stand against uh, our police officers and Blue Lives Matter for some reason not being an equity issue as Goodyear. Uh, appears to maintain. So for all the fleets out there that have Goodyear tires on them that inevitably need to be replaced, that is fine. Go ahead and purchase. I, I haven't spoken in to him about that in particular. You can ask him later in the 5 p.m. hour. Yes, good night. Thank you, Kaylee. Uh, as the White House continues to spearhead its vision and its victories for Middle East peace, what commitments does the White House hope to uh, establish with the visit of the Prime Minister from Iraq tomorrow? Yeah, so that visit, we're very much looking forward um, to that tomorrow. Um, the President looks forward to w welcoming uh, Prime Minister Kadami uh, to the White House. The U.S.-Iraq strategic partnership is based upon a common goal for a stable, secure, and prosperous Middle East, and Iraq is a key partner to the U.S. on a range of regional security issues, including the enduring defeat of ISIS, so all of those matters. Uh, will be discussed tomorrow.